Item number SCP-127 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-127 is considered no more dangerous than a normal firearm of its type. However, due to its extraordinary properties, it is to be held in Weapons Locker 7C when not in use and suspended in water rich in calcium and protein. At this time, only the research team assigned to SCP-127 has clearance to access it. SCP-127, upon first glance, appears to be a standard MP-5K submachine gun. Tests have revealed that aside from the outer steel shell, the entirety of the firearm is organic and alive. The weapon's ammunition initially appeared to be human-like teeth. However, DNA testing of the bullets resulted in no match to any known species on Earth. SCP-127 features two settings. Semi-automatic and fully automatic. An audible groan can be heard when switching between the two. Upon depleting the weapon's magazine, typically 60 shots, it takes between three to five days to regrow a new supply of ammunition. Attempts to remove the magazine have resulted in failure. It seems to be permanently attached to the weapon. SCP-127 does not seem capable of reproduction at this time. Scans have shown no apparent reproductive organs. It requires no sustenance beyond water, calcium, and protein. SCP-127 was originally located in the house of a Mr. James. Mr. was found dead from a heart attack on the night of November 17, 1991. Coroner's reports state that Mr. died sometime in the morning of November 8, but was not reported missing until more than a week later. No complications or unusual circumstances were found to lead to his death. Due to his extensive gun collection, the ATF and FBI were notified to collect his weapons. SCP-127 was discovered during testing and cataloging, and was promptly collected by SCP agents. Addendum: Reclassified as Safe 1990.